welcome back to my channel if you're new here what's up my name is Michelle now today we're gonna be doing a pride inspired makeup tutorial pride is very important for the LGBT community as it's just a way of it's a positive way of taking a stance against discrimination in the world and it's just to promote some sexual diversity and equal rights because everyone should be treated equally no matter their sexual preference I love everybody and everybody loves me mm -hmm. we're gonna get ready for pride now my face is not done yet usually it would be and I'm not one to do eyes before face I got stuck there for a minute but we're gonna do that today because we're gonna be messing with some colors and I just don't want fallout to ruin our makeup so let's get right into this tutorial as you see my eyebrows is ready and my eyes is primed so what we're gonna do I'm not using any specific palette today I'm just gonna use this palette that has like 120 colors that I ordered off Amazon this was like my first palette that I ever bought cuz you know a girl wanted makeup and I thought this was the shit back then because it had 120 colors came all the way from China took two months to come and it felt like a special surprise when it did come because I forgot all about it but I think I only paid like 12 bucks for this thing but it has every color in a rainbow and that's exactly what we need so we're gonna get right into this look again my eyes is already prepped and primed so we're gonna just take some yellow yellow is gonna be our first color let me grab my mirror and we're gonna tap that off because this is fall out fall out and we're just gonna take that yellow right in here and start blending we're all gonna speak so once you got the yellow we're gonna just go ahead and take our next color which is gonna be some orange so we're gonna just dip into the orange you guys can use any palette that you have that's colorful I honestly just don't own a colorful palette this is the only one but I will get one soon and we're gonna just take the yellow and put it right next to that color and keep blending in don't be scared to take it into the yellow you know you know get that color in there again we want every color in the rainbow I love rainbows bam 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 now we're gonna go into a red color we're gonna go into red and I'm just literally using the same brush over and over I'm just wiping it off when I'm done on this little thing that I have here and we're just gonna keep going and we're gonna take that red right at the end and I'm gonna blend that in that red is pigmented now you see I already have some fallout here and that's exactly why I chose not to do my face first I literally always will do my face first and then just put some powder um, some baking powder on there but I already knew that these colors were gonna have lots of fallout and I just wasn't about messing up my makeup today we want to look snatched here you know you know because what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cut the crease so I'm gonna take my little brush this is an M421 from Morphe I love Morphe brushes I love 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 Morphe brushes it might be the only thing I own lies I'm actually gonna go in with a bigger brush and I'm just gonna use the M167 because this one's a little smaller it's more for precision but I'll be at it what I like to do is just put some concealer on the back of my hand and I'll pick up the product from there and we'll go in and cut that crease out carve that crease cut it carve it whatever you want to call it Now, don't worry about anything else because you can always clean that up later. What I'm actually going to do is just take my smaller crease brush and I'm just going to dip into the white color in the palette and I'm just going to go over that. Boom. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to leave that sign and we're going to go back in with our little fluffy brush. 
Same one, same one. I'm not even changing brush. Might be dirty, unsanitary. Call it what you want. Now I'm just gonna dip into a green color. Use any green you like, just make sure that it's bright. Whoop! And we're gonna take that in here. So now that I got that exactly where I want it, what I'm gonna do, same brush again, just gonna wipe it off really quick. Wipe it off really quick. And we're gonna go into blue. We're gonna go into blue color, blue color. Now again, um, I, I know that you guys have definitely noticed, I usually upload every three days, but what happened was I just needed a little break. I was just filming and filming and filming and I needed some me time. I needed some family time. So I took a little break. I hope you guys can understand that. And I have this weird area right over here that always looks patchy as AF. Like this product just always goes on patchy there. I don't know why. Not my favorite spot. Do. So after you got that blue laid down, we're just gonna wipe off our brush again, our brush, and we're gonna go into purple, my favorite color in the whole wide world, purple, look how pigmented that, eh, almost curse. bam, now we got it where I like it, I like it a lot, now we're gonna go back in with that concealer brush again this is the m167 i chose to use the bigger and thicker brush just so i could catch more of the area and do it faster now it doesn't matter that this is all tore up from the floor up over here because what happens is once we go in with our foundation we're going to cover that up like nothing brush how did I lose my brush? There's no way. Dude, I lost the brush in front of me. Like, how does that happen? Whatever, we're just gonna go into that white color. And we're gonna tap that underneath the brow bone. Do you see that? Tap, 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 tap. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Now that we got that done, we're just going to quickly do our face. So let's get into our face. Because then we can put everything on when we're done. I'm going to use a little bit of the Cover Effects Blurring Primer. This primer is so good. Now, it's not for everyone. I don't recommend it to everyone. It's your preference on primer. It does remind me of Benefit's Professional. But it's not heavy on the skin. So that's what I like. And it does hold down the makeup. So it works for me. It does blur your... See, look. It already looks a little blurry. Go in with Maybelline's Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And the only thing I don't like about this foundation is that it doesn't have a pump. So what I like to do is just put it on my finger and put spots. Looking like I got chicken pox. They used to put the white color mine lotion all over pink or whatever it was. This is the Man Poreless. I also do have the smooth and dewy one and that one's great as well. What I'm gonna do is just take my Y6 and I'm just gonna blend this out. I'm gonna oh, hair up all up in the way. Boom, it's not even heavy on the skin, very long wearing. I love it, love it, love it. With a capital L, capital L. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take some shape tape. This is in the color light sand. Now that we got that done, we're just going to take our Y11 and we're just going to dip into some Cody Airspun. And we're just going to quickly set 
set and forget. Set it and forget it. So now what we're gonna do is we're quickly gonna just take our R14, which is our contouring brush, and we're gonna dip into a uh, Pure Cosmetics Sculptor Palette, and we're gonna go into this lighter shade on top, which is called Inventor. This thing is pigmented, so you wanna watch out. And I love this brush because it's literally buff, and it's literally just straight edge to where the gets exactly where I want it to get. It doesn't go all over. Oh, I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bronzing brush, and we're just gonna go in with Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. We're just gonna put a little bit over that contour powder, just to warm it back up. Uh, boom. Oh shoot, I just put my hand in it. Don't worry, it's all good in the hood. It's all good in the hood. What we're gonna do too, is we're gonna take our Morphe, the 8W palette. We're gonna take our E4 brush. And what I wanna do is, I'm gonna go into goals. Goals and unapologetic. Just gonna. Snatched or no? Yes, girl, we snatched. We snatched. What are we doing now? I just, I just lost my life real quick. We're not gonna put on highlight yet. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and finish this eye look. So I'm just gonna take this little Aesthetica eyeliner brush that I have, and I'm gonna take my pretty vulgar ink gel liner pot. It's called the ink and this is in the shade blacklist this is so smooth and creamy and this brush goes perfectly with it i received it in my last month boxy charm and we're just gonna do a line real quick bam do you see that like snatched looks pretty even to me this one looks a little longer, but bam! Woo! Okay, now make sure you close this and hey, because we do not want it to dry out. You know, you know. Yes, girl, you can see my swatches from earlier on my hand. We had to get creative. I was in a block. I needed to figure some things out. What we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna follow the colors we're gonna take that red first dust it off actually let me add a little more powder to the face just right here just so if anything does fall out we catch it and we can wipe it away without a problem so I'm just gonna take the red as close to the last line as I can. See, I'm gonna take it in there. Even pull it underneath the liner a little bit. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like follow the edge right here and pull it up. You see what I'm doing? Just following it right there and just following it underneath the liner. Now we're gonna go into the orange shade following the same colors that are right on top. Bam. Yes, yes, yes. Now we're gonna just wipe that off really quick. 
And we're gonna go into the yellow shade. Yellow, yellow, mellow, yellow. And we're gonna take that right. Ooh. Right. Into the corner right here. Boo! Now what I'm gonna do is just take a clean blending brush. And I'm just going to lightly go under all these colors and make sure they just blend together and smoke it out a little bit. Now that we got that done, we're going to go straight to the other side. And again, we're going to follow the same color pattern. So first we're going to go in with that purple. And I'm going to take it underneath. And... Underneath the liner, underneath the liner. Gotta go in with this purple. It's not picking up on this certain brush. This right here is an MB47. It's just a flat, straight edge. Now we're gonna go into some blue, 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 blue. I'm blue. If I was green, I would die. I don't know the original lyrics to that, but that's what I used to always say when I was little. I'm blue. If I was green, I would die. That's just what I used to say. And I'm gonna go all right here with the blue, catching a little bit of fallout, but that's what we put that power on there for. Yeah, and then we're gonna go into that green finally. Green, 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 green. And we're gonna take that green up in her. Up in her. Oh shoot, low battery on my phone, girl. Just gonna take the green up in there. Now again, what we're gonna do is just take that clean blending brush, if I can find it, because I keep putting things down and just losing them. And we're gonna just go underneath here. Bam. Oh, I forgot to grab an eyeliner pencil. So, what we're gonna do is, do I wanna go there? Now we're just gonna take a black pencil. We're just gonna go in with a black pencil. That's what we're gonna do. Boom. I might cry. I might cry. I might cry. Whew. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our voluminous slash paradise from L'Oreal. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get off camera really quick and I'm just going to apply some lashes and some lips and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back and this is our final look. It's a look. It's a look. I'm so happy with this look. I'm ecstatic. I love, 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 love it. I just threw on some pink lipstick because that's the only color we were missing up in her. And I threw on some highlights, some glow sprayed my face and I put on some Ardell wispy lashes which I'm in love with and this is our final look so yeah I'm so excited this is my pride inspired makeup tutorial I hope that you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys come back for future videos don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and we're out of here let's go celebrate